Great. Thank you so much, guys, for continuing to watch our uh, Claudula Caden sequence uh, analytics here. Uh, what we are now going to do today is the last part of the cadence where uh, we will tell you how to actually read the analytical report that we generate on every single cadence. Uh, now, this report is actually generated from a lot of uh, thought in terms of helping you analyze uh, whether we are targeting the right kind of contacts, whether we are reaching out to the right kind of people, uh, whether we are reaching out to uh you know uh correct uh demography correct persona and so on uh and how are you faring uh against these different kinds of personas if some persona is working better for you uh, then why and how and how can i replicate that success to other personas as well so if i click on the reports here i will see a, a detailed report will come in this uh in the first tab here what i'm basically going to see is email statistics uh, this is actually going to show me all the emails that I've uh, actually sent so far. So since I have not sent any emails here, sorry, I need to go to the second cadence to show you this. Yeah, this is an actually run seek uh, cadence. This is where I will see the data coming in. Right. So on the top, if you see, you will see top audiences. Now, what does this graph tell you is basically uh, it will show you and on a high level view on what kind of contacts are predominantly present in your current cadence. Uh, so it will tell you, hey, this cadence is more predominantly focused on managers uh, of, let's say, IT in US or whatever, you know. So it will take the maximum uh, chunk of contact which are similar to each other and it will tell you what is the predominant area in which this campaign is or, or this cadence is running. So for example, if you say this cadence that I have right now here, is predominantly for us uh, is for director level people from engineering uh, again title keyword is director as well uh, headquarters is us industries uh, computer software and size is 5000 to 10000 so if this is the correct persona for me it will tell me that this e this cadence is scheduled in the right direction at least it, it's not scheduled in the wrong direction uh, I'm not adding wrong kind of people uh, into this cadence that I do not want to reach out to. So this is the first step of the analytical platform. The second step is it will show you how many emails have been already sent, uh, how many uh, uh, contacts I've received those emails. So now since I have only uh, set up one phase in this, both these numbers are same. But when you have two, three, four, five phases, your number of emails will be obviously much more than the number of contacts in the uh, system. So you will see how many have read, how many have replied, how many have link clicked, hard bounces, soft bounces, and unsubscribes. So you will see all the statistics of the campaign directly here. Now, this is where uh, things really get interesting. Now, what we want to show you here is how is your cadence actually performing? Okay, where are you getting more open rates? Where are, who's more opening your email? What kind of person is more opening your email? Where in which location are you getting more success? Uh, in which uh, seniority level, functional level, you're not getting an enough, enough response. So that's basically what you will see in this heat graph here, okay? So this is a heat map. What you can see here is based on contact location, I can see which people are responding to me more, okay? So if you see here, uh, I, most of my read and replies have come from US, okay? India is very low and rest of the other, all the other countries are abysmally low. So in that case, what I can conclude is my campaign is very targeted and focused and getting more responses from US. If this is a correct scenario that I want, then great. This is what I am on the right track. Then I want to see, okay, what seniority is responding to me more? So if you see here, directors, vice presidents are the two people who are showing me most interest in my campaign. So they are the ones who are reading my emails more and they are the ones who are responding to my emails also more. But if you look at it, managers and seniors and executive people are not really uh, responding to my email that well. That means my email that I'm sending is not resonating well with managers and, and other people at, at that level, especially. So what I need to do is if, th if this is a target market that I want to uh, track, then first of all, I can do is, you know, create a separate cadence for managers where I can send them a very manager specific offering uh, you know something related to features or benefits or so and something and so on and keep the analytical part or or vp uh, director level email very separate so that i can then target both of them separately uh, so this is i think one of the mistakes that i can see here where 
my emails are not getting much clicks from uh, manager level folks uh, functionally who's responding to me more so if you see here again uh, engineering and sales is responding to me more uh, but whereas uh, it admin marketing finance no none of them are actually responding to me more so my uh, cadence is specifically targeted for engineering and sales if you do this correctly ideally you should not even have these kind of uh, functions in the system you know if you're seeing these that means you're targeting wrong audience and try to avoid that uh, avoid, uh, audience if you don't want to reach out to them uh, similarly i can look at titles i can look at the headquarter location of contacts uh, what industries are responding to me better uh, and what company sizes are responding to me better so here again i'm i'm seeing that uh, 5000 plus is is the is my sweet spot in this cadence but i am not getting a lot of responses from lower level company sizes now what does this tell me is that whatever i am writing in my email right now whatever is my approach is hitting a lot more uh, on the 5000 plus uh, persona then you know a two to five hundred or five hundred to thousand and so on and so forth the other kinds of personas so i need to see if i can split them into other personas create a different cadence completely for these kind of folks and see how i can get better and better open rates for those guys as well so that is how you can read these reports to understand uh, how it will help you in the you know in, in, in making a better cadence you can also click on tabular view and see uh the tabular data on the entire uh, offering so here you can see all the sizes emails that, that are being sent how many uh, emails are sent here, read here what's the percentage of that and so on and so forth so you can see all the data directly here uh coming in for you similarly at the bottom you will see uh, the reverse analytics now so you can actually see uh which companies are now responding to you more and and how so I can just go here and see open rates. Uh, you know, I can see titles in your ATN functional level of contacts. So if you see director level contacts are about 50% opening my email versus associate VPs are opening 100%. CMOs and, uh, uh, you know, uh, CMOs and my VP of marketing are opening again more. Uh, but I am not getting a very good uh, response, let's say, from uh, founders here or, or you know, uh, manager kind of folks here. So. Uh, I can read this analytics and see that, okay, which kind of uh, contacts are opening my email more uh, and how I can actually read this analytics to make it better. Uh, in the map, I can see what locations this, this is basically getting targeted right now. So I can see predominantly I'm targeting US and India. And of course, there are other countries here also which are getting targeted. If this is right, then great. If not, then you can correct it quickly. Similarly, I can read what kind of companies are giving me better responses. So I can look at industry wise data where it, it will show me what industries are more favoring me. Uh, and I can look at the company size data where I can see what sizes are, uh, you know, responding better to my cadence. So this is basically how you can read a cadence, understand it, uh, and it, uh, hopefully it helps you improve your performance as well. So please do let us know how you feel about it and we are very excited to launch this cadence very soon we will be also launching uh, different kinds of cadences for example right now you can add only emails in this but we will also uh, you know allow, let you add uh, very shortly calling cadence and social messaging uh, cadence as well which will help you set up calling sequences and social media follow-up sequences as well uh, also we are all, uh, we are adding direct calling feature into the system which will allow you to directly make calls from the system itself so we are very excited to bring all of these features to you and we hope that you like and love them and continue to use them like you, as you have been so far. So thank you so much and let us know how you feel about the uh, new cadences. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.